Hey, this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn, and we have with us today little Mr. Jonathan, and he's here holding his little Mickey Mouse um, little stuffed animal rattle, and he's dressed in his little sleeper. His Aunt Cassandra asked on the next video, can I um, show him? So I wanted to come on and show him dressed for bed. But also what I wanted to do, do is... um reach out to the community once again you know when I was going through all the um, sickness in my family when my dad was ill and when I was going through all the um, death I had this past month back to back to back um, cause technically let me see yeah I lost um, yeah the, the uncles the aunts and then my friend yeah had passed away but anyway um, and everybody was saying in praise and things for me during that time. And I always say in the community when we, even though this is a adult community and our ch channel is supposed to be about dolls, but if we're going through something in our life and we need prayers, we should be able to reach out to each other for prayers. Well, I'm standing in and asking y'all to pray for, um, to our sisters in the doll community um one is ambrosia doll house her mom had a fall and broke her hips and she's in rehab right now so my prayers go out to her and her family and i ask that y'all um keep her in the prayers and, and we pray for um healing and strength for her her mom as well as her as she's going through this with her mom but also I wanted to come on and ask y'all um, to say an extra prayer for Miss Bully I know y'all saw when she came on the other day saying her son had to have emergency surgery and I don't know for those who may or may not know um, and it is on YouTube if you go back in her old videos too Miss Bully lost a son years ago by a car accident and then um this son her youngest son just had to have emergency surgery well she didn't come on a day but i've been talking to her her spirits is still up a little bit but um she had another son was in a bad car accident yesterday um last night actually they had to even attach his ears back to his body um he, they actually had to bring him back. I think either two or three times he had stopped breathing. They had to bring him back. So she's going through it again, not only with one son, but two sons. And I told y'all before she had lost a son in a car accident years ago. So y'all, please, please keep her um, strength enough to prayer. Reach out to her. She said she wasn't going to come on. But I'm telling you, you know, it's hard when... You just have tragedy hit your family and so much in one family at a, at one time. Sometimes it can become very overwhelming. And I know how I was a couple of weeks ago. I mean, seeing like I just couldn't even function. But, um, and I only can imagine what she's going through right now. So that's why I keep calling her and checking up on her and everything. But y'all, please, um... Rather it's through Facebook, Instagram, text messages or something. Y'all just reach out to her. Give her a few words of encouragement. Keep her um, lifted in prayer. Because she got two sons that's going through something right now. Like I said, the one that was in... Um, he got hit. A lady hit him last night. And um, they said he went up in the air and come back down. And he was in the tr trauma center. They had to... Um, I think one ears came, I think one of his ears came completely off, if I'm not mistaken, or, or one been hanging or something like this, she was telling me. I can't be exactly 100% sure. But anyway, it, one minute he can remember her, and the next minute he don't even know who she is. He had a lot of head trauma, and they say with him, damn, bringing him back a couple of times because he stopped breathing is just really hard. So y'all just please keep both families, um, that's Ambrosia Dollhouse and Miss Bully's Nursery, because both of those, our sisters in Christ, as well as our sisters in the doll community, please keep their families in y'all prayers tonight. And once again, it's your girl Earl, baby Daniel, and thanks for watching. And my prayers go out to both families.